Computex 2020 wouldn't be possible without our sponsors, Samsung, Corsair, MSI, and Synology. So I want to introduce you to the world's first ultra curve monitor at 1000R. Now what the heck is 1000R? What does it mean? It's a radius in millimeters. Picture a circle. The center is somewhere in here. And if you draw all the way around, that radius would be 1,000 millimeters. You have 1800R, which is pretty common, from we're in the 3000 range as well. It just defines the exaggeration of the curve. So something with a higher R value will have a slighter curve. Uh, this, of course, though, is very sharp. It's the sharpest ultra-wide curve that uh, is supposedly on the market. And there are benefits to this. Never really made sense for TVs because you have multiple people viewing from different angles in your living room, let's say. Uh, but for a gaming monitor like this, it's just the person gaming who needs to worry about the monitor in question. You know, people watching you might be watching you online or somewhere else, but they're not usually physically watching you on screen. We figured this perspective here would give you a good idea of just how curved this thing is. It is a 3440 by 1440p monitor, so a WQHD resolution, 21 by 9 aspect. Uh, that's just basically the ratio, the vertical aspect to the horizontal aspect, and then 144 hertz refresh rate, which is great for a gaming panel. Uh, panel. It is, I believe, a VA panel. Uh, which we will need to investigate with respect to ghosting because VA panels typically at higher refresh rates struggle a bit with ghosting, whereas TN, which has worse color reproduction, uh, tends to do fairly well in that respect. So something we'll need to test long term and just see if VA is viable uh, at these higher refresh rates. I've used VA panels that are 144 hertz and most of the time the difference isn't substantial. Uh, but of course every monitor is different, so we'll need to test this, but I can tell you that it is a joy, I just blew up, it is a joy uh, to play a game like CSGO on this panel with it just curved around you like this. It's immersive. I know that sounds like a reused and just hashed word in the marketing mix jungle, but I can tell you that it, it feels really good because you're no longer much further from the corner of your screen as you would be if the panel was flat. That's really the selling point of curved panels like this is to feel more immersed in whatever game you happen to be playing. So now I wanna open the question up to you. What do you guys think about curved panels in general? What do you think about high refresh rate VA panels? What kind of technology is your monitor currently sporting? If you have just one monitor or if you have many, go ahead and list them all, that's okay to brag down there. Uh, but uh, I, I'm just curious, I wanna gauge the audience because I personally have no problem with VA. I think VA is actually an affordable IPS alternative in most cases, and the higher refresh rates typically don't bother me uh, when, when considering things like ghosting. It's not as big an issue, I think, in a lot of the games that we play today. CSGO players, maybe it's a bit of an issue, uh, but esports gamers would gladly trade more accurate color reproduction for a much smoother image, and that makes sense in these high, uh, high-paced kind of FPS games and the like. So let me know what you think about this monitor here. They don't have an official name for it, but uh, the model number as it stands is MAG 342CQR. I am not, I, I'm, I'm not joking. It's a really long. It's a really long name. But anyway, let me know what you think about the monitor. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks to MSI for sending us Computex 2020. And I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for watching and thanks for learning with me.